You guys, we have just got the very first factory KTM 112 and MX bikes. Come on! And we are going to, that was sick. We are going to be sending it here today on this brand new factory KTM. Hi everyone, welcome back to the MX Bikes show. Today, we got a sick factory KTM. The first factory KTM that I'm aware of in MX Bikes, super mini wise here. And we are going to check this thing out today, bro, right here. This is made by the same person that made the good old factory YZ here. Uh, this bike is not out though. We're gonna try to rip this factory uh, KTM here and see if we can't bark this thing here. We are on the Moto Factory compound here, so we got a lot of stuff to ride. We got anything from some FMX, some forest trails, you know, and then we even got some Supercross and Motocross. So we're gonna try this thing out on probably everything, bro. So let's just hop right back into this here and see how this factory 112 does here. So these 112s, as you guys know, they always really ripping bikes, and it is sick to see we got getting some sick ones as well here. Um, I've never really rode this Supercross track, so line-wise, I don't really know where I'm going to be going. Like, I've rode it here once in a while, but not enough to really know. But, I mean, we're still clearing the freaking Supercross triples with ease on this KTM, which is absolutely sick here. Looks like we got a set of whoops here. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, that's a wrap. Okay. That didn't go to plan here. All right, let's go ahead and hit this double finish line right here. Then we'll head to, I think I want to go check out a little bit of free ride, actually. And then we'll go to the motocross track later here. There we go, over that double into the corner, and we are dead. One thing really cool about this compound is if we head over this way, kind of on the opposite side of the supercross track, we're going to run into a bunch of, oh my god. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> we're going to run into a bunch of trails, and like I said earlier, some free ride stuff. We got some sick FMX jumps. And just free ride jumps in general. So this is really, really cool. So let's go head on and head over here. Of course, with a little bit of enduro here. Because we do got like a little section with a couple logs here. See if we can't hit these real quick actually without crashing here. Let's get on track first, bro. There we go. All right. Can we make these on the 112 without crashing? Over the first one, good. I know. Oh, one on the edge of that one. Unreal. These logs can be a little, a little sketchy. Let's do this in first person. These are like, like I said... When I last played this compound, these are like the sketchiest logs and bikes, and I don't know why. Sometimes they work great, like right there, and then other times they just break the bike's physics, which is crazy, you know, but we're running it. Now look at all these sick jumps you got up here. You can go even farther up as well, because there's more jumps up there. It's just so sick, dude. But so far, dude, that jump was sick. So far, and then it leads into the FMX as well if you want, or it can go the other way. Anyways, such a sick compound, you guys. I will leave a link down below as well. But what I was saying is, the KTM 112, this thing absolutely barks, bro. It has a ton of power. All right. It handles great here. Let's see how fast we got to hit this ramp. Oh, my God. We sent that. Bro, this... Yeah, look at that. Going flat. This thing absolutely barks. I think the only weak point on this bike might be suspension. It's not ideal, which is to be expected, you know, in MX bikes. But, you know, it's not horrible. But comparing it to some of the other stuff we have, it's definitely not the best. But, hey, you know, we're running it, dude. Speed-wise, though, for a 112, this thing absolutely freaking gets it. Alright, let's see if we can't bark on. Oh my god, bro, a little sketch. <laughs> let's see if we can't bark on the motocross track here. So I'm gonna case that. Not ideal. It's alright, we'll be fine. But one thing, like I said, you guys, earlier, the cornering on these bikes is kind of cracked out of its mind. I don't know why. Like, check this out. Dude, you can just bark on this thing. Oh my god, we probably could have tripled that, dude. We'll go for that next lap, dude. Holy hell. God damn, we're sending it right into the face, but it's gonna be okay. Yeah, okay. So we shouldn't have sent it into the face. Lost a little bit momentum bro which caused us to have a little bit of a case but you guys can tell this factory 112 though absolutely shreds dude and i love it dude oh that thing was a little bigger than i thought i'm not gonna lie you guys i have not played this track in a minute so i don't really remember the lines but i'm giving it my best shot you know what i'm saying that's all i can do here all right if i remember it's a double up the hill oh my god new inside line by me okay that didn't work bro i thought <laughs> That didn't work, to say the least. There is a sick free ride jump I would like to check out here in a couple minutes, you guys. So stay tuned, because it's an absolute booter, bro. And you guys don't want to miss that, especially on the 112. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. I think we can get it on the 112. But even in the sand, this thing still puts the power to the ground, dude. Up over the finish line. There we go. Let's send it. Come on. No way we make that on the 112. Damn, we had that too if we wouldn't have... Oh, I bet if I was in first person, we would have landed that clean, bro. Because I don't know how to freaking ride in third person. But, dude, this thing absolutely barks. It's not even funny how quick this thing is, man. I'm not even kidding you guys. 
Holy. I love this KDM. This jump is huge, you guys. Holy hell, bro. I bet we could get all the way over it to right there if we got a little bit of a better drive. But I don't. we can't go all the, all the way over, if you know what I mean. All right, let's hit this middle line through here. A little sketch. We didn't mess that up, but it's all right. We'll be fine. Up the step up. God damn. Dude, this is... Oh, my God. This bike is just sick, you guys. All right. We have done a lap here. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and check out that freaking sick jump I wanted to show you guys, which is really cool. But let me try here. I want to see if we can't hit that triple in where we hit this corner last lap. Oh, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. It ain't happening. It's fine. All right. So let's go ahead. Since that didn't go to plan here, let's go check out this sick... Ugh, this sick jump I had in my right here. So if you guys look right here, there is a uh, like a bridge you can ride across, right? And there's a face. And you can send this face all the way across the bridge here. Um, I'm not sure how much of a run this 112 is going to need, but we're about to find out. I want to do it both in first person and some third person, you know, so we can uh, see what it looks like in both cameras here. Ooh, should have that. Ooh, a little left. Do we have it, though? Ooh, we have it. Let's see. The thing is, though, bro. I would like to land on the actual bridge part of the downside. So if we can go like up and then land on the actual part of the bridge, that would be sick. Since we, um, oh, okay. Rift suspension. <laughs> Since we already landed all the way over the bridge, like I said, I would like to land onto it. And might as well do it in some third person here. And this is honestly such a cool freaking jump to see in bikes, man. So cool. Oh, we <laughs> bro, I was gnarly. Clip the railing with the front end. Holy, bro, that would have been gnarly. All right, let's send this here. Oh, that might be it. That should be it. Oh, yeah. Clean as day, dude. That is so freaking sick, you guys. Yeah, this compound, man, I definitely recommend checking out, you guys. I feel like not a lot of people play this compound either or know about it, but I feel like that's kind of how it is with a lot of these, like, sick free ride compounds. And, like, it's not necessarily a free ride compound because it's got, like, everything, but I feel like some of these really, really good compounds get forgotten, dude. I really do. And they are so freaking sick here. But there is another thing I would like to check out here. So if we're going to make our way back over to the free ride stuff here, I kind of want to test a couple things out on this 112 and hit some big jumps here. But mainly, I kind of want to see how it does backflip-wise. You know, I have not tested out a backy on this thing. And we'll probably end up doing a game of bike on this stuff. Of course, if you guys would like to see a game of bike with this thing, let me know down below. Maybe even some racing or anything. Just let me know down below, bro, and we'll do it. But what I want to see is how does she backy as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot this was here. Oh, this is like a little circle rut. This is sick, dude. A little mini circle rut, dude. All right, let's see if we can actually bark through that thing here. See, the key was you don't want to be sitting down in this pile, bro, okay? Because it just causes you to swap. So you want to stand up here the whole way. Oh, dude, look at this thing. Oh, my God. Absolutely barked in there. All right. Let's go ahead, hit some of these jumps over here I had planned here, and I want to throw a backy. so hear me out, you guys, check this out, so we're going to jump over this, probably going to case, yeah, because we didn't have the best run, bro, then we're going to park through the outside, grab fourth, up over this double right here, we're actually going to go a little deep, we'll be fine, though, that was cap, we're not going to be fine, I want to try to hit this into this right, oh, you guys, I want to try to hit that face, and hip that into that. Wouldn't that be sick? All right, bro. We got to land that. I'm going to head back up there. See if we can't get a run for this thing, man, here. So we're probably just... Oh, but the issue is, are we going to have enough speed from on top of this on the 112? There we go, bro. That's, yep, okay. Now, grab fourth. Oh, yeah. We got the momentum all day long now. Oh, that's sick. No way. No. Okay, yeah. We got to land that. That's going to be clean. All right, bro. I want to grease this here. Let's give this another attempt here. Come on. Bro, that first double can be a little sketchy to get over because you really got to get that perfect and then jump into that like that. That should be it all day long, right? Yes, sir. That was clean. All right, guys, hear me out, okay? I I'm fixing to send it. That's why I came back to pit here. And I want to come over to these uh, the jump line actually over here. And I want to try to actually send it all the way up the hill and jump all the way down. Um, I don't know exactly where it goes once you get to the top, bro, because I've never like actually gone all the way up on it. But we're about to find out, bro. So let's go. We're about fixing the center here. Let's grab fifth gear. Hit this sucker pin, bro. Come on. Should get over that. There we go. All right. I hope we don't swap off the lip here. Double up that. Oh, we're going a little long. No. You guys, I, I think we're going to wrap it up there on the 112, man. This thing, the factory KTM 112, I should say. This bike, it, it was such a blast. Let's throw a little backy. 
Dude, it is so sick, man. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys like to see a game of bike on this thing, let me know down below, and we'll for sure have to do it, bro, because it was such a blast. And yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Check out the Real Life Riding Channel. Links will be down below. Also, Discord and stuff like that as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Drop likes if you guys did enjoy. We'll see you guys in the next video, boys. Everyone have a great rest of your day.